We're going to head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. This one uh, about a couple of the veterans the Browns let go. Hey, Dave. Yes, my name is Cassius. I'm a first-time caller, lifelong Cleveland Browns fan. I just want to uh, ask you this question. Maybe you can consider this. I think the Cleveland Browns moved on from J.C. Tretter because he encouraged a lot of the players not to uh, show up during the pandemic or basically for the uh, early OTAs. So he encouraged the veterans not to show up. And I think the Cleveland Browns didn't like that. And as you see this year, they have a better turnout. I also think that they were inclined to get rid of Jarvis Landry, not just because of his salary, but certainly that, but more so because he was in the – he was tied into Odell Beckham. And so, therefore, I think they just wanted to start all, all the way over. Thank you for taking my call. As always, we appreciate uh, all of the uh, voicemails. Um, I I don't think Jarvis's relationship with Odell had anything to do with why they let him go. Uh, the other one, Mary Kay, maybe, maybe a little bit. I don't think they would overtly say that, but I, I'm sure they weren't happy that uh, they didn't have the OTA turnout that they would have liked that some of the other teams did. Well, that's true. And I do think that it probably, you know, was a factor. Last year, they did not have their offensive guys showing up here uh, for large chunks of the offseason program. And um, and J.C. Treader spearheaded that. Uh, so, you know, it's one thing to call it voluntary. It's another thing to have a player on your football team really discouraging, discouraging players from showing up and urging them not to. And I do think that, you know, perhaps you know, it could have something to do with the fact that another team hasn't picked him up yet because maybe they're worried uh, that the same thing would happen to them. Uh, so, you know, like I said, I do know that the Browns are extremely happy to have as many guys in the offseason program now as they do. And even though, again, as you mentioned, nobody would ever say that publicly or admit it, um, it, it could have been somewhat of a factor. And, and do you think there's anything at all to the thought that, you know, Jarvis's relationship with Odell had I, I just don't see that, but I, I could be wrong. What are your thoughts on that one? Not so much Odell, but I do think that, um, you know, it got to a certain point where it was time for change. Okay. So Jarvis, you know, was part of the, you know, the Baker, Jarvis, Odell, you know, that kind of group. And other guys were too. I mean, David Njoku was part of that, um, you know, era. But um, but I think it was time uh, really to have sort of a, a new vibe or a new voice, a new leader in, in the wide receiver room. And I think maybe they wanted to let Amari Cooper be that for him and let guys sort of follow Amari Cooper's lead. And, you know, Jarvis, he, he's tremendous. He's a great leader. He's got a great booming presence. Uh, but I do think that, you know, that may have been a little part of it, that they wanted just sort of, you know, a new energy in their wide receiver room.